Hey guys, it's tutorial time. Today I'm going to be covering an item transport system from the from the bottom of your mine shaft all the way to the top surface of your storage room or ba main base, whatever you have going. Now, for the reason why I've, um, I've done this um, is because say you're mining down in your mine shaft and you fill your inventory, you run all the way back up stairs to unload and then come all the way back down and then continue mining. I wanted to cut that bit out and just come come back and just unload into this into a mine cart and then go back to mining. So you know you could get back at it really quickly and get more resources. So I've I've um, adopted a system here. This used to be a mine a mine cart chest storage system, and it was designed I think by Sebling, um, a guy a very long time ago. But I've adopted it for a different purpose. I've adopted it for a. Uh, an item transport system so so what would actually happen is you would fill up this chest and then you would hit a button and it would shoot that chest around back on itself and then you'd fill up the next chest that's why it was originally a storage system but um, say for me once all these chests are full of cobblestone and diamonds and gold all I'd have to do is hit this switch here and um, that's it it would pretty much it would um, change the track up the top instead of being looped on itself like it is now it would send it back right back up to the surface ready to be all these chests ready to be unloaded so that's what we're going to cover today a lot of people were getting confused with the um the wiring and um what was behind there and such so we're going to cover that today um a lot of people really really wanted it so yeah well we'll hit the switch and i'll show you so once i hit the switch all these pretend these are all full and yeah, now they're now they're being sent right up to sport, right up to um, my um, collection area, ready to be unloaded. And then once they're unloaded, they'll automatically be sent back down here as again as well. So let's go up and let's um, let's go over to my super flat world and cover the uh, the basics of this. Okay, guys, we're on a super flat world. We've got our mine shaft, which is represented over here, and we've got a half a hut which is represented over here which is meant to be on the surface and this is meant to be deep under the ground so what we're going to be doing first is just making a quite a simple train track from A to B <laughs> so um, what I'll be doing is just making an incline uh, pretty basic incline you can make this as long as you want Whoop. that's how long we're gonna make house just for this tutorial. Now I'm going to make it, um, well you can dig it out because obviously you'll be uh, doing this in your mine shaft or wherever. So this is one side, this is our inclined, what we're going to have. Now we're going to have powered rails on one side, right up to the top here, and then we're going to have regular tracks up here, like so. And then we're going to have non-powered, which is here, going down, 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 down to the ground, like so and connected so it's just really it's a, it's like a it's a loop and we need to turn one side on which is not a problem there we go so we got the powered side we got the non-powered side all right and this is nice and long and big on purpose and um you know we want to do the exactly the same over here for your um i don't know your base or your, your mountain base of doom or whatever you've got going uh, We'll try and make it the same size. Doesn't matter about location. So we just want to get items from A to B. Okay, so same thing. We pa we place some um, rails all the way up the top, like that. Just don't go over the top here. Use regular rails for that part. And there you go. Right down to the floor. Same thing. Let me just connect these two up. So it's totally up to you where you run all these tracks and etc. I'm just um, I'm just it's not really part of this tutorial. So you know you can uh, run the tracks wherever you want. But for in this tutorial, this is just a demonstration. You know you you want to go up wherever. But okay, so those two are connected up nicely. We have yep. Oh, we haven't got one powered over here. Okay, there we go. We got our tracks all hooked up. Now, a lot of people 
a lot a lot of people say if we're, we're confused um when they trying to build this they have sending me messages and saying that the pulse is way too long you know you would um they would just put buttons in let's put the let's put a few mine carts in here there we go three of them will do and and if you would just put a button here and you press it see the pulse is just way too long what we're after is a really short burst pulse which comes with a, a, a circuit called a mono stable circuit which gives you a very very short pulse and allows these carts to move slowly down the track not completely loop back around on itself um, so we're going to build that mono stable circuit that is the, the heart of this this is what people really really wanted to know how to do so we're going to do that now I'll be using stone you can use wood cobblestone whatever you like but I'll be using stone and I'll just be calling it a block so we're placing a block down we're going to be placing a button on that block on top of that block we'll be placing a redstone torch like so and then on top of that redstone torch which is on another block and then on top of that block we're going to be placing a redstone torch which is now off and then on off on that redstone torch is, which is off we're going to place another block see that's our first layer so we've got three blocks two torches one button so pretty basic now behind we're going to start on our second layer now now behind the on torch we're going to be placing another block like so and then on top of that block we're going to get take a piece of redstone place it on top of that block which is will turn on no problem don't panic and then on top of that redstone we'll be placing another block like so and then on top of that the redstone block on top of that block we're going to be placing a redstone repeater like so and it's going to be facing the opposite way as your way of your button all right so your, your buttons facing that way and uh, your redstone repeaters facing that way and we're going to give it a tick one tick like so there you go you clicked it once now we're going to start on the back all right so all we need to do is put another block behind this powered redstone here so there we go so we've got a block back here and all we got to do is put another red piece of redstone on top of that and then we just place another block on top of that like that so the back looks like that that's pretty much the back that's that's how simple the back is now I'll uh, I'll just zoom over here and press this button there you go so you've got a a decent view if you need to pause the video and catch up there you go all right so uh, where this off redstone is we place a redstone torch like so this is where our pulse is gonna come from this is where you you would run your redstone to whatever machine you need a quick short pulse for so pretty much the circuit is now complete and we just want to run the redstone from the the pulse from there to the non-powered tracks on one side like so there you go so now the circuit is complete and that should actually work so see how it's creeping down nicely now the carts are squished together thanks to the the, the old system so we got to start try to separate them a little bit uh, which might be a lot more difficult but yeah normally you'd have a gap between the two, between the mine carts but uh, thanks to this button here which does that when you press it uh, yeah it's a bit broken so let's just get rid of one of these mine carts for now there we go so there's a nice gap you always have a gap and that will work just fine see that's now you're filling up your you're filling up your mine carts and they're looping around on itself so and yeah it's nice and simple that is pretty much what really everyone needed to know is how to build this little circuit and I've just showed you so where you want to run the track because you know you'd have a, a button so you would hit the button and it would send a signal to to this track here uh, which would change the track for you like so there we go and would send it back home or wherever you're trying to send it let's put some uh, let's put a few powered rails in here just in case now as I said the, the, the uh, I was uh, at the um the 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 tracks themselves is not really part of the tutorial because I'm not sure how everyone's gonna have it this is just really this is just these two ends the tutorials covering these both ends you know we got a and we got B 
Okay, so the time is going down, so let's, let's switch that back. Um, so now we've hit the switch, which now has changed the direction of the rail to unload it. So all we need to do is press the button, bring them down. All right, so now that's sending that home, you know, wherever you want it to be. Now, that shouldn't be like that, obviously, so we can uh, fix that up. There we go. Okay, so that's a, that looks a lot better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, normally you would have it, you would have the minecart go in to the non-powered track, and then you want the powered track to, for the minecart to leave. So, you know, let's send the second one up there, and then we'll create another circuit so that's now going home yeah lovely awesome so let's get another circuit going which is exactly the same as that circuit over there I'll take it another slowly so you can get a double whammy so I placed a block down and I've put a button on that block now I've placed a redstone torch on top of that block and I'm placing another block on top of that redstone torch like so then I'm placing another redstone torch on top of that block which will turn off and then on top of that off redstone torch, we're placing another block. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to the back, the middle section, and we're going to be placing another block on the on redstone torch, like so. So that's at the back of the redstone torch that is on. On top of that redstone torch, we're placing a piece of redstone, like so, which will turn on, don't panic. And then on top of that on piece of redstone, we're placing another block. Now on that top of that block, we're placing a redstone repeater facing the opposite way of your button, like so, with one tick. All right, so the middle's done. Now we want to do the back. Now or we, we want another block at the back of this on redstone, which we have now. And then we're placing a redstone, piece of redstone on top of that block, which will be off, all good. And then on top of that off piece of redstone, place one more block, like so. And then, just put a torch at the back here, next to your, next to your off redstone, like so. And then, as uh, as again as the last one, you just want to run power to whatever machine you need the short pulse for, like so. And there we go. So now, if we hit this button here, you know we've we've taken diamonds out, whatever. You've put them in the chest. Oh, I want to send them back down to the mine shaft. That's not a problem. Just make sure you before you leave, you have some sort of system set up so you can t turn that back to normal. But so there, you just hit the button that will loop down on itself, and that will go back down to the mine shaft, ready for you to load back up. All right, see, pretty basic. I just really wanted in this tutorial, I wanted to cover these two sections, which were the the main questions, uh, a lot of questions. The the circuit which we've covered and the tracks here which we've also covered so one's powered one's not powered and that's pretty much it now i think you can probably try put them together but i, I wouldn't recommend it um but that's just the way i do it you can do it the way you want to do it but uh, a lot of people just wanted this short pulse allowing the minecart to creep down so you got that covered anyway um the actual track between and this whole setup changing tracks you, you, it's not part of this tutorial, you can uh, do it that way, a lot of people do it the way they want to do it, um, yeah, so all you want to do is just create that loop in the circuit, but yeah, anyway, this that's the end of this tutorial, um, we've covered the circuit needed for the quick pulse that people really, really wanted to get their hands on, and um, yeah, I, I hope I explained everything <laughs> as best as I could, um, and yeah, you guys know how to build one now. Anyway guys, I'll catch you all later.